on this video, I will show you on how to calculate for arithmetic means or on how to insert arithmetic means on an arithmetic sequence. Basically, arithmetic mean is the average of two numbers. In an arithmetic sequence containing any number of terms, all the terms between the first term and the last term are called arithmetic means. The first and the last terms are called the extremes. For example, insert four arithmetic means between 2 and 22. So basically, our arithmetic sequence will have 2 as the first term and 22 as its last term. Then we have four numbers between them. So let us leave those four numbers blank and let us insert later. 3, 4, then we have 22 as the last term. Since this is an arithmetic sequence, therefore, each term must have a common difference. Therefore, let us solve for common difference for us to insert arithmetic means. But how? So, we are going to use the formula on our arithmetic sequence which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d. So, we have a sub n as our last term, a sub 1 as our first term, n is the total number of our terms, and d is our common difference. So, let us now solve for d. So, our last term is 22. So, that will be 22 is equal to a sub 1 which is 2 plus the quantity of n. So, how many numbers or how many terms do we have on our sequence? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, that will be 6 minus 1 multiplied by d. So, let us further simplify. So, this will be 22 is equal to 2 plus 6 minus 1 will be 5 multiplied by d. Then, that will be 22 is equal to 2 plus 5 times d will be 5d. And then, let us solve for our d. So, as you can see, we still have a number on this side of the equation. So, we are going to use the SPE or so-called subtraction property of equality. So, we are going to subtract a number which is 2 for us to eliminate 2. So, let us subtract 2 on both sides of our equation. So, that will be 22 minus 2 is equal to 2 plus 5d minus 2. So, as we can see on this side of the equation, 2 and negative 2 will be eliminated. So, that will be equal to 0. Right? So, computing it further, 22 minus 2 will be 20. It's equal to 5d. Then, solving now for d, let us divide both sides of the equation by 5. So, 5, 5. So, 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. So, 4 is equal to 5d divided by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 will be 1. 1 multiplied by d, that will only be d. So, our d or common difference is equal to 4. So, therefore, 
each terms on this arithmetic sequence will have a 4 as a common difference. Then let us now insert our arithmetic means. But how? So let us add 4 on each terms on our arithmetic sequence. So that will be 2 plus 4 will be 6. Then 6 plus 4 will be 10. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. Then 14 plus 4 will be 18. Then 18 plus 4 will be 22. So that is our first example. Another example. Insert 7 arithmetic means between 69 and 93. So our arithmetic sequence will be, so the first term is 69, and then let us have 7 numbers between them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, then we have 90. Three. So, same process, we'll be using the formula for arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d. So, our a sub n or the last term will be 93. So, yung last term natin is 93. So, that will be equal to a sub 1, which is the first term, 69, plus n is the total number of terms. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 terms in our arithmetic sequence. So, 9 minus 1 multiplied by d. So, let us simplify further. So, that will be 93 is equal to 69 plus 9 minus 1, that will be 8, times D, that will be 8D. Then, let us use again subtraction property of equality for us to omit or remove 69. So, let us subtract 69 on both sides of our equation. So, that will be 93 minus 69 is equal to 69 plus 8D minus 69. So, 69 minus 69, that will be 0. So, the only thing left is 93 less 69 is equal to 24. Then, that will be equal to 8D. Solving now for D, let us divide both sides of the equation by 8. So, that will be 8 and 8. So, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So, that will be equal to 8D divided by 8 will be D. So, our common difference is 3. So, let us now insert 7 arithmetic means between 69 and 93. So, let us add 3 on each terms in our arithmetic sequence. So, that will be 69 plus 3 will be 72. 72 plus 3 is equal to 75 plus 3, 78 plus 3, 81 plus 3, 84 plus 3, 87 plus 3, 90 plus 3 is 93. So, that is all about arithmetic. C mean I should say